Well, I ran into this group of bike riders right here. Where y'all from? Okay, are y'all, did y'all leave out from Springfield? Uh, left out of uh, Fellowship, Fellowship Bible Church. Okay, okay. So y'all headed back that way? Yeah, yep. We gotta go out this way. Go around. Yeah. Yeah, y'all got some good looking bikes. You steal it. Well, we'll keep that quiet. Okay. We won't let nobody see your face or nothing. Okay. Yeah. We can show the bike, but we can't show his face. Blur it out. I tell you what, in Houston, Texas, you can find all kinds of good looking bikes on Craigslist, but they, they're prone to be stolen. <laughs> That's where I found uh, my. That's where this came from. Yeah, actually, that came from uh, the Woodlands. I could have bought it off Craigslist, but I paid I paid prime dollar for that in 2012 in the Woodlands. Yeah, well, that's where this came from. Yeah, there. Hey, there are so many bikers in um, in Houston. You know, we think we get, we got about 140 really good bike riders that are on Strava. And out of that 140, we got probably 20 that are real dedicated. You know, we got some 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 people that are really triathletes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some we got some women that are super <laughs> fast. Melissa. Melissa. Yeah. Oh man, she's fast. Yeah, she How do you pronounce her last name? Belt. Belt. Yeah, she's super, super nice and super fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all have a good one. Thank you. Be careful. All right, man. Y'all do the same. I want to show you people something that's a dead gum shame. You see that? Something hit that. Now, I don't know if that was a baseball bat or something, but I can tell you this. Up and down this road, I've done seen several of them hit. Now, this one wouldn't hit the last time I rode by here, but it's sure been hit now. What I can say about that is this. Hey, doggy, you need to get back in your own yard. <laughs> you you need to go home. Go home. Go. Go back home. Get out of the road. Darn. Well, I hope you don't get run over. All right. What I was saying about this is, this time of year, these graduations, I noticed two things. I noticed a lot of mailboxes get damaged, and I noticed that. Sadly to say, there's some car wrecks that involve young people, Gra you know, graduate, you know, either graduating or moving into high school, got their driving license, and uh, they either hill topping or just going too fast on these little bitty old country roads, and there's horrible consequences. Uh, death is this reality right now is a real thing. So I just wanted to say that. But let me say this, that uh, if you got children that's graduated and they live in Ozark, Rogersville, Springfield, talk to them. Tell them it ain't cool to be bashing on the damn mailbox. It's kind of stupid. It's almost retarded. So have conversations. And the youngins that are driving, I know I had two of them driving when they were teenagers. They brought my... Ford Astro custom minivan home one time and both running boards were broke. You know it took over probably 10 years before they could fest up to hilltopping and did that. In Mississippi, in the flat delta, but there was one damn hill, one damn road that had a, a place on it. I can't think of the name of the road, but I bet you they know the name of it and they, <laughs> I bet you they remember flying through the air in that Ford Astro minivan. <laughs> <laughs> they bottomed that son bitch out and tore a lot of stuff up underneath it too. Uh, I can't remember all the different kind of damages, but of course daddy had to fix it and never really knew until about 10 years later what really happened. So have a conversation with your, your children if you think they're out here tearing up mailboxes. Get on their asses. Well, I wanted to stop and show you this. This guy... Uh, 
he's he's taken over from his granddaddy. His granddaddy for the last I don't know probably forever been years and years been planting this as a garden. Well, last year I meant to stop and talk to him. He ride riding lawnmower, and I. Uh, most of the time he was always busy so needless to say i i always waved at him shouted at him and hey you know and waved and stuff but i never did stop and have a conversation so earlier today i was riding by and the young guy and his wife and a child was outside so i pulled into that driveway and i said i want to ask him a question about this garden and he said, yeah, that was his granddaddy. And his granddaddy had taught him, showed him what to do. And uh, this is his first year. So we're going to wish him a lot of good luck with it. Uh, he, he must have been taught by a good one. Because the other man, his granddaddy, always had a really good crop of tomatoes. And his tomatoes are looking really good right now. They're going to be great. I just know they will be. But... When he passed away, I seen all the cars there last year, so I pulled over and talk, I talked to his, his daughter, and she even told me then that uh, the, probably the, well, it was months and months later, I stopped and talked to her again, and she told me that the, uh, her son was going to get the house. And so he's really done a good job keeping the yard pretty and stuff. But this is where I'm located. I don't know if, if y'all... Bikers, y'all probably know this this spot and been watching like I have every year the garden. But I just thought I'd videotape the beginning of it. Yep, it's gonna look really pretty. Bicycle dudes, they're riding. And Oh, this is lap two, so by the time I get back to Ozark, it'll be um, right at 48, 48 miles. So I pulled it off. I just got to get back. <laughs> All right. I guess uh, pretty soon I'll be doing three laps, and um, then I'll have to figure out what the calculation of that'll be. But right now, this is my second time for coming to Hardy, so this is considered two laps. And by the time I get back, it'll take right at three hours. For to do a hundred is six and a half hours. I do remember that. <laughs> so I'm working up to a century. I don't know. I'm going to take my time and build up to it slowly. All right. Thanks for watching my videos and uh, like and hit that. What? The, how do they say it? Smash that like button smash that like button <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and click the bell and that way you'll get notifications of every time i upload a video you'll be one of the first to be able to leave a comment all right thank you i kind of feed him every now and then I get it on video one day when I throw him a little piece of food and he comes down. So we got a couple of them actually, a couple males. They spirals. Sparrows. Well hey everybody, this is Buddy. I found another mailbox that got hit. I, I, it's, it's up and down this road. This is 186. 186, yes sir. Yeah, this young guy right here said that uh, he's, he's pretty sure it was hit with uh, uh, some kind of like a bat or something, but it pretty much tore it up. He can't even close the back of it, come off. But look, y'all, uh, like I said about in the other video, have a talk with your, your, your teenagers. Um, these are people that either graduated or they're coming out of elementary or middle school going into high school. They're riding around with older kids and they ain't got nothing better to do than tear up some mailboxes. Like I said, that is just stupid. <laughs> it's pitiful. It is. It's absolutely ridiculous. It don't make sense. I, I, I know they're doing it 
but we you know we can't prove it but this is like five of them between here and the next five miles Wow, it's quite a few of them not everyone's getting hit just some some people getting hit but yeah, it's sad. Y'all sure got a pretty house. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. She takes good care of it. Yeah, I got the yard looking good. She, uh, she does a pretty good job keeping everything up. Yeah. I never noticed that boot underneath the window. Yeah, I put some flowers in there. They're supposed to grow up around the... the around the frame. Flowers. Okay. Yeah. So you just did that? Yeah, uh, she... About a month ago. Okay. Hasn't quite taken off yet. Well, it's pretty. Well, thank you. We're pretty happy with our little farmhouse. <laughs> pretty proud of it. So, we actually got a new mailbox. We just. I don't know if you caught that, but that lawnmower has got a wing on the back of it. Will you look at how fast he's going? Oh, he's getting it. Hey, bike riders! That motor, that lawnmower got a wing on it. A wing. Gotta love it. Bike riders, they just blowed by me. Man, it's hard to hold his on, but still. One more picture of him, and then I gotta go. Look at him. Well, can you tell where I'm at? I'm at the Ozark Mill. I'm looking at the footers they put in. Look at that. That's the one being built. There's one behind it. Right there. Well, they got it going on. As hard as it rained, it ain't holding water over here, so that's good for them. Yeah, they got to get that foundation right before they can move this thing back over on it. Well, I thought I'd show you that real quick while I had a chance. Look at that. The water is rolling. Boy, you could, I, if you could smell this honeysuckle, you would know what I'm smelling. Look at it. Ain't it beautiful? Yeah, the water's up. We got a lot of rain last night. Made it, made it real humidity. Humid. Too close, too close. Well, that was one of the reasons I wanted to come over here. Oh, look at that sign. I never noticed that. No diving from the bridge. 
I noticed these, but I ain't never noticed that one. Try to keep somebody from going up there climbing on that bridge. I thought I thought there might be an activity going on at the park, but it's not. So one reason I stopped over is I wanted to get my hat right. I wanted to check and see was it holding water and it's not holding water so that's a good thing oh look they put some holes in here I guess the the wind was blowing it so they decided to cut holes in it it gives you a little way to look through there and see what they're doing well it looks funny being in the middle of the road you can see the yield sign right there that's where the traffic would split, go this way and go that way. It's dead and it's in the middle of the road for sure. Oh, that's a pretty picture of the bridge. You can tell how muddy the water is. It's muddy. It's real muddy. Dang it, he flew off. Oh, he was huge. I can still see him, but he's way over there now. Oh, he was right at the foot of the falls. Catching fish. Oh, he's huge. He was right there. Oh. Look at that big log stretched across there. Wouldn't take much to move it. But it probably just came down with this last big rain. Well, we got people over here going to go tubing. I don't think they've been in the water yet, but they're going to go. People out riding around in their convertibles. Check the ice cream truck out. He is getting it. The old caboose has flooded a couple of times, but it still looks pretty. Not All right, well, I'm going to get on down the road. trying to do a selfie like these young kids do. I'll be done fell down fell down this damn hill trying trying to do it. I think that's good enough shit. Alright. 